Folks, we got a double header today. Two estate sales in the same weekend. Got some good buys right here on my take on Home and Garden. I got some deals, killer deals, and thought you might want to see. <laughs> Careful now, you might see this good looking my Take on Home and Garden t-shirt. And let me tell you, make my heart sing. They're made out of 100% cotton. How many times have you heard me talk about that? <laughs> Gotta love it. And I do. So folks, let's start with some smaller pieces. And I mean, this goes up to a couple of pretty big pieces. I'm so excited. This is the cutest fine bone china from England. And I gotta tell you, 22 karat gold rim. This is exquisite. And the maker here is by Shelley. Shelley of England. Why is it special? Because let me tell you, there was about 10 or 12 sets of these. You just saw in a former video where I got the uh, forget-me-nots. That's why I wanted this. Beautiful. Next, you saw the rose bowl. The rosebud bowl or bud vase in another video. It was smaller <laughs> and I was thrilled with it. Now we've got another one in lead crystal in a spiral daisy pattern. It's etched and cut real heavy, extra fine. Guys, $7. <laughs> Unbelievable. This stuff just comes toward me. You know how I talk. I can't help it. And I'm not turning it down. There's not a flea bite. There's nothing wrong. Absolutely exquisite. Let's talk EAPG. <laughs> Early American Pattern Glass. That's this set, no doubt. You pick this up, you think you have three in your hand. It's so thick and beautiful and wonderful. Etched flower, absolutely exquisite. And the estate dictated that this would be of that era. Even the handles cut here on both sides. Just exquisite, guys. Sugar and creamer, matching pair, $12. I was happy with that. And I did catch this sale at 25% off, by the way. So the prices I'm quoting are including that. And that's part of why they're so good. Here's another dandy. I have, we, nothing like this. Nothing like this. Hand blown, I can feel the bottom and just tell. Applied handle in your 1960s West Virginia crackle glass. And this is an exquisite picture but it would be a cute little bud face, too. They're just off the chain in a window and really good together, especially in my display cabinet. <laughs> I thought anyway, right? Oh, sure looks good in there. 
Next, we got a, another milk glass find, guys. You know what I tell you all the time when you think about it, talk about it. We showed our whole collection in two videos, and each one was absolutely full. And I think over 30 minutes. But it keeps coming. Now, I don't need pears in milk glass, although on occasion, you know, it can be a lot of fun. This is another set, different cream and sugar by Fenton. You grab it and you just know it's from the 50s. The weight, the thickness of it, the solidness of it, in the American hobnail pattern. And I'll tell you, the sugar, some of the sugars are open. This is not, this is covered. I really love the covered. We have more are open. And I don't call this a condiment because it doesn't have a slot for a spoon. So it's not a condiment, it's a set. Cream and sugar, okay, by Fenton in the 1950s, possibly into the 40, just into the 40s, it could. And the finial is absolutely exquisite with its little diamond cuts. And beaded, it's beaded on the ridges. Really unique. Gotta love it. Next, I'm always looking at crystal, you know that, and I'm always looking at these candelabras, and typically they're quite modern, but if you put them together, I see I clean these, but I have a little bit of wax in, in one yet. You can put them as a centerpiece, but what I really love, there's two, two reasons for these. Number one, you're gonna go nuts over the price. Pattern on the bottom. I love them. This is called graduating. This is a graduated three candle piece. Okay, as it steps up. And then you have the other one and it graduates down when you put them together. Christmas time, can you see it? Of course. Or a crystal table setting. Absolutely. <laughs> These were originally $6 a piece. $4 a piece. Wow, where are you gonna go, folks? For thrift and beautiful. Right here. We know how it works. We know how to do it. Now a couple of new things. I gotta get up, get it, get them down here. <laughs> this one of stay sale was so fat. P H A T. In some of the uh, older language, the characters would use fat being really awesome, you know, cool, and off the chain. Kind of like that, that one. <laughs> I won't make a habit of that one, though. Look at these. These are from the 60s. I'm pretty sure we looked at that earlier. And I went nuts about them for Angela's area. Her Ormolu, her Hollywood Regency, her corner of Victorian, they're just off the chain good, guys. You're not even gonna, I can't believe this. 25% off at this one too. And if I waited till noon, it was gonna go to 50. 
I don't wait. I don't do that. I'm too busy. So happy with 25. I got this sold as a pair for four dollars. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look how cute. We'll get them on the wall now that the video's done. That's some incentive too to get me to do some some video so I can put them up and decorate. <laughs> Now we have a couple of these. People seem to just abandon these. And look at the faux jewels in the end. I just thought it was exquisite, okay? This was originally 10, and that would mean I got this for 750, yeah. Cause you know, I wash everything, all the labels are gone, but I, I remember. This had a $10 sticker, and I got this for $7.50. Talk about Ormolu and gorgeous. Because I swiped one of Angela's bigger ones and it never made it back, <laughs> she's gonna get this one. And this is more beautiful for her Ormolu and things anyway. I always tease her. I always make up for anything I borrow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. I got two bigger things. One I'm gonna to bring to the table and one is too big to bring to the table. So we'll get on the gimbal and show you that one in just a second. So folks, you know, if you like what you see on our programs and our videos, please subscribe. It costs nothing, but it's all about numbers games, you know, for us on YouTube. So please be a pal and subscribe and you can keep us here and keep enjoying the videos. I think you do. So, thank you. Excuse me a second, I gotta get a sip of my coffee. Oh, out of my new, my take on home and garden coffee cup. If you didn't get to see them yet, that's one side with the castle like the shirt. And the other says, in case you were wondering, it's a dandy. <laughs> On the opposite side. So this is in the slate blue. And we just loved it. We both got this same cup. And then, of course, we got a Christmas one coming. We haven't got everything yet. Our samples, you know, we have to buy two. So... I can't wait for the rest of them to come, but we're just really thrilled with them. It's a nice size, typical, you know, hotel wear coffee cup. And there's stickers, if you didn't get to see. Real quick, two sizes. You know, you'll want one on your lunchbox And be your car. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure of it, right? And uh, your refrigerator. <laughs> I said, why don't they make a fridge magnet? That'd be kind of cool. Maybe they do. We haven't seen it yet. And they always ask for suggestions. Anyway, guys, this, it's everything for me to lift this up. This gorgeous mirror, now it's to go upright, and that's the way the hanger is on the back. It's a dressing mirror. Absolutely loved it. You know, it's all solid and wood and plaster. I might 
brighten up some of the gold, but it's in great condition. They wanted $40, and with 25% off, I got this beautiful vintage mirror for $30. Just nuts about it. Can't wait to put it up. Gorgeous piece. The last piece, you're not even going to believe it. So let's go look at that. I cracked up when Angela came home. She went upstairs for a bit. I asked her to come look at the hall. She couldn't wait. She came down. She didn't even see the biggest thing because I had everything else in the, you know, on the coffee table in the living room. If I had a shot of her face when she turned and looked at the big thing, I thought, oh boy, I'm in trouble. I'm going to get yeah about, you know, big things and where is it going to go and how much. No, not on this. So we'll see that right now. All righty, guys, here's the final thing I bought in that estate sale. I thought it was just exquisite. It's a wood and plaster frame, so it's extra nice. You couldn't buy this frame for what I got this whole piece of art for. Okay. And it's clearly probably a Western Canada or Western U.S. Rocky Mountain view with those rustic cabins. $60, guys. <laughs> $60. Here against the dining room table, you can see the size. And now I'll get to hang that and you'll see that in another video. So folks, if you liked our video today, our double estate haul, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a pal over. We'll keep them happy. Or her. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you've started your autumn decorating yet. And hopefully we've been an inspiration and give some ideas. That's the only reason we start early. You know, we don't think it's October yet. But... If it was October, you'd already be done and you wouldn't watch our ideas. Why would you? <laughs> so we stay ahead of the curve for you and take care, everybody. Check out the new line and we'll see you in the next exciting over the top, off the chain, incredible estate sale haul.